Come with me on a trip into angling adventure. We'll ride the ragged edge where the fish are big and wild. From the fabled Walker's Cay, we'll travel to the ends of the earth, to the loneliest oceans and the farthest rivers in search of the best light tackle action. We'll pit the smallest lures and the lightest rods against the toughest fish, and we'll burn the stories into the memory of film on the Walker's K Chronicles. My companion is Chico Fernandez, celebrated angler, fly tire, and old friend whose skills were honed on the flats of the Florida Keys. This is not the Florida Keys, but the Indian River, close to my new home and hard by Cape Canaveral, where human dreams take flight on a regular basis. The shadow of the futuristic launching pad is a world blessedly frozen in the past, where other dreams often come true. Chico, look in the white pothole at 11 o'clock, the far end of the white pothole. I don't see it. I don't see it. Just make a blind cast into the far end of that little white pothole. All right, here it goes. A little to the left. The left? That's all right. Work it out. Just work it out. Oh, he's on it! Well, I'll be darned. Look, you know where they were. Well, Chico Fernandez, that redfish turned right into a tarpon. Oh, it's so pretty to watch him jump. Oh. You know, I just have a straight tippet. Oh, there's no bite tippet on there? No. Oh, so this this fish could get away. Well, there's a chance, but... Look at that. Oh, he's getting tired, isn't he? The tarpon was perhaps 20 pounds, vest pocket size in the Keys, but major here at Canaveral. You ready for me? I sure am. I sure need help. Oh, did he get no respect. Did he get you wet? He sure did. Ooh. Beautiful. Daddy hit that muddler with gusto. Okay, he's gonna get he's gonna get released though. That's well he should. I'm just gonna let him I'm gonna hold him until he decides to swim away himself. That was great. Good job. Good cast. Very lucky. I don't see many of those up here at all. Chico. He's got it, Chico. Oh, man, was that unbelievable. But there was no time for post-mortems. Fish were everywhere. Then Chico spotted another tarpon and sent the fly to intercede on his behalf.
one o'clock, he's back us out of the water. Let me turn you just a little bit he here. He is so shallow, he can't even turn around to pull. Keep stripping. God, he spooked a huge red. I thought the red was after him. Did you see that? I mean, I pull, pull, yeah. pull. Due to the Indian River's colder, more oxygenated water, the fish fought with even greater enthusiasm than their cousins in the Keys. You know what? It's not so different from the Everglades. Ignore the weeds. Totally ignore the weeds. Excuse me? Totally ignore the weeds on your line. OK. <laughs> that is great. He's coming in close. Okay, let me see if I can get a hand. He's on. coming in close. Kind of tough working a tarpon around in a little John boat, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. I'll uh, be as gentle on all the equipment and on the fish as I possibly can. You need the hook out? No, I got it. Whew. What a day. What a wonderful day. And that's the perfect size for an eight weight fly rod. Custom made for an eight weight. I am really glad that you could come up here and explore with me. Oh, I am delighted to do this. You know, this world is so different than the world that you and I were used to in the Everglades. Very true. You know, if you just didn't look at anything but the bottom, there are some similarities. But you know that there's no tide in this river system? Well, that's what I don't understand. I'm so used to the fact that I'm fishing an area and I have limited amount of time to be there. And soon the tide will be gone, and I better be. Chica, look at 11 o'clock. A little bit left. Whoa, we're right, right there. Right. Maybe, I got him. I got him. Maybe 60 feet. Perfect cast. We'll be back with Chico Fernandez right after this. There's a redfish. What a nice redfish tail, huh? Whew. That is a major redfish, I'm afraid. I see him. There's another one coming. There are other fish there. Bonanza. Feed him, doctor. This is going to be exciting. Right there. Might be a little short, Doc. Yep, yep. <laughs> Wait, take your time. Take your time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Might be a little short again. Yep. Oh, I can't stand it. <gasps> nice! Don't see him now. He disappeared, I don't know. Oh, he had the fly. You know what? He touched that fly. Well, he's still looking for it. I got it. I think him. he found it. I got it. Chico, please be careful, because that's a big fish, man. He doesn't know yet, but he's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's not aware of the pressure I'm putting in him and all the problems he has, but he's totally unimpressed at this point. He was in no water at all. Back out of the water. You know what? That was as exciting a redfish moment as I've ever had in my whole life. And I wasn't even fishing. Pull him backwards, Chico. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now I can gain on him. This is what we Oh. Chica. God, he's still in no water at all. I mean, he's still so shallow. Look, there's another redfish right there with him. It's not so different than the Everglades, is it? Nope. 
No, it really isn't. Oh my goodness. Ooh. He just doesn't understand how much pressure I'm putting on him. He doesn't understand and he doesn't care. If he really knew, he'd be, he'd be scared. But he doesn't know. He is beautiful. Look how bright red he is. Like copper. You know, sometimes they're pale or they're gray. This guy, true to his name. He is not a little fish. Wait. He looked at my face and he took off. He didn't like <laughs> me at all. No, you wonder why. You, you look such friendly. a bad person. You look friendly to me. Oh, what a sweetheart, man. What a sweetheart of a redfish, Chico. Look how beautifully colored he is. Oh, I can hear him drumming. Can you see the light going through the fins on this fish, Chico? Beautiful, beautiful the way he looks. I'm going to just slide him back in here. Boy, oh boy. Back he goes. Your first Indian River redfish. Thank you, my friend. He was strong. Yes, indeed. And I'm glad I was here with you when it happened. And I'm glad you were here to help me. My pleasure. As a matter of fact, it'd be my pleasure to pull you to another one. Let's do it. Just ahead, more of Chico and the monsters of the Indian River. The producers of the award-winning Walker's K Chronicles are offering a new edition of home video cassettes, especially priced at $19.95 or $79.95 for a complete set of five, plus shipping and handling. Light tackle experts like Sandy Moret, Flip Pallet, and Lefty Cray will take you into a whole new world of angling magic where fishing dreams come true. To order, call 1-800-WALKERS. Now the lowering sunlight was changing the game, so we changed with it and worked the shoreline. Another boil. See it, Flip? Yeah. Maybe, maybe if I just uh, out of there. Tighten that loop up a little bit. Okay. Snook. See, if you just listen to me when I tell you where to I cast. Know. When am I going to learn? <laughs> oh boy, you oh boy. Just where he was. Have you done this before? Just a couple of times. This whole snook yeah. thing new to you? It's natural ability. Most people don't realize the snook comes so far north, you know? You know, I always thought of snook kind of as an Everglades kind of fish. That's right. I think I got this off. He swallowed the fly all the way. Yeah, he meant he meant it. He I, wasn't kidding. I fooled him. Be careful with those gill rakers. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're not having any fun, are you? With a snook added to our day's take of tarpon and redfish, I took Chico to a place where a major project that bodes well for the future of fishing in the Indian River is underway. Years ago, in an ill-advised effort to control the mosquito population, the river was cut off from the large marsh. Now, under the custodianship of the Central Florida Water Management District, the marsh, which had been a major spawning ground and nursery for all kinds of wildlife, will be reconnected to the river. Thus, the marsh will be given new life, which in time will give it back to the river, just as it had always done before it was so rudely interrupted. My friendship with Chico Fernandez goes back almost 40 years to 1958 when he came to South Florida from Cuba. We fished together, went to college together, and upon graduation entered the financial world together, he into accounting and I into banking. Years later, Messrs. Pallet and Fernandez could no longer resist the whispered sound of a higher calling, and we were forever lost to the corporate world. That higher calling was fishing.
Maybe each of us, Chico and I, just had too good a childhood. Maybe if we hadn't had the keys and Everglades as our backyard, we would have been inspired to go on to utopian heights in the financial world. But the times we had as kids just spoiled us for anything else. And now we're caught in this net for the rest of our lives, sentenced to pursue an impossible quest that can only end in heartbreak and disappointment. Because, as everyone has been taught, you can't go home again. So Chico and I wander homeless in a world of our youth, full of mystery and surprise. It's tough duty out here under the sun, and don't let anybody tell you different. I know he's ahead of me. He's be very aerodynamic. Good spotting, it was good casting. I don't know what happened there. Oh, look at that. The far end of the pothole there. He's going to the right. That is a big redfish, Chico. Big fish. You didn't see it, bud. No, nope, I think it was too far. You have to feed him more aggressively. Yep. I think you're right. Pull it, pull it. I see a snook. I got you, I got you. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, he's a cute little snookster. You're right, he was laying right on the sand. Trout. That's a trout? That's a trout. That's a big trout. You know, Chico, at home, on a fly rod, this would be one in a million. You want to help me land this one? Oh, yeah. Flip. You know what? If we're successful with this ban the net initiative, mm -hmm. we're going to see more and more big trout like this. Oh, absolutely. Time. Oh, what a strong fish. What a strong fish. No respect to me whatsoever. He if doesn't was, know who you are. If, if he I only was knew. a real captain, I would have a landing net aboard. Would you look at that? That's a sea trout, man. That is a sea trout. He also took your fly all the way the, down. He hit you know that. what? Why don't you hold him and let me make a photograph? I think this is a great fish. I think so too, absolutely. Out came the camera and click went the shutter on another moment in our similar travels. What a huge trout. Look at that mouth, bright yellow. Hold that picture because I want to bracket this. Neil the trout. You. Now, put him in the water for a second. How big do you think he is, man? Well, he's at least five or six pounds. I would say, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. So ended another day for Chico Fernandez and his friend Flip. Just a couple of South Florida kids condemned forever to search for the golden fleece in that world beyond our more grown-up lives.